let's build a simple data scraper to pull some information on these dog toys into Google Sheets. So I uh, will open up our product. I will open up Cheat Layer. And let's grab the price and the title and some of this about information. So I'm going to start with this price element. And this is where, again, Print to Console can come in handy. As you see, there's a number of overlapping elements here. Uh, so if this is the span element that we want. This is where the hotkey control enter can come in real handy on some of these smaller elements. It may be difficult to roll over them and click add to cheat. So you can just use control enter and it gets you back to this uh, no code action menu. So we are going to use the save variable action here on the price. And then we are going to get the first bullet point here in the about this item section. And this is an element I've used print to console on previously. So I know that the X path is actually the best selector for this object. So I'm going to switch my selector to X path and save this as a variable. And now we'll highlight the title of this. And we're going to use the scrape to G sheets action. So now we will create a new Google Sheet. And all we need to do is copy this URL from our Google Sheet, insert it here into our Google Sheets ID. And the other field we want to make sure matches is the sheet name. It is set to the default name of sheet one, so we are okay with that. But if we have a worksheet that has multiple tabs, uh, we'll want to make sure we're using the right tab name and that this matches. So now we can run this automation, we'll do a file run. And if this is your first time doing this, you will be prompted to sign into your Google account and allow cheat layer access to your Google account. And here's the Google sign in. So I'll select my Google account. And all we have to do is allow cheat layer access to edit our Google Sheets. So now we can see in our console output that we have run, run the script and added a row to Google Sheets. And over here in our Google Sheet, we can see this information. And something else to note here, the title, although it was the last thing we added into our automation, is in our first column. And that's because whatever we use that scrape to G Sheets action on, that's going to be in the first column. And then our save variables will be in the order in which we save them after that. So that's just something to keep in mind as you're building your automation. Whatever you want in your first column, you're going to need to add at the end of your automation and use the scrape to G Sheets action on because this picks up all of the previous save variables. So I will now save this into my Amazon folder. So So now that we have our data scraper built, we could run that automation on any Amazon product page and it will scrape those same data fields into our Google Sheet. We can also use no code options to run that data scraper on all search results uh, from a product search, for example. So. To do that, we will use a no code action called run code on tab, and we'll use the attribute selector. Now the key with run code on tab is this does need to be added onto a link element. So as we highlight different objects on the page, you'll see a uh, link element preview. You'll also see the element type displayed on the no code action screen. And a link is element type A. So we need to find the A element 
uh, that's associated with this product page so we can add our run code on tab action. Now you may not be able to find all of the elements in this area with your mouse. So the key is if we select the largest element around here, we can use the left and right arrow keys on our keyboard to start cycling through all of the sub elements within this section. You can see there's a number of smaller and hidden elements in here. And what we're looking for is that A element. You can see this is what we were able to select with our mouse. And right below that is a link element for this product. So now we'll go to the add cheat menu. Control enter is that hotkey. And we will want to use the attribute selector and the run code on tab no code action. Now you can see if I select this no code action, this is highlighting all of the product links on the page. And from the code field, there's a drop down here that has all of our saved automations. So we can select a we can select a saved automation. And then if we run this, you'll see this will start to open up these products in new tabs. It runs our data scraper on them, and then it closes the tabs. So we'll let this go, and we'll collect some information in our Google Sheet. So as you can see now, we let our data scraper run for a little bit, and we have a number of elements here in our Google Sheet. So be sure to keep an eye on our YouTube channel. We'll keep putting out these tutorials. Uh, so be sure to like, subscribe, follow, find us on Facebook as well. Join our community there. And good luck cheating.